All right, let us continue. I think we are about to finish the big mission that we had, right? Yeah, okay. Tell you what. Let's remove the uh, crane because I have no money, right? It's going to be a bit of a problem if I do the crane mission over in uh, Island Lake right now. So we're just not going to do that. Okay. Let's head over to the quarry. Bro, this thing is slow. So I guess it's, it has five gears, so I'll probably speed up. Alright, this is this is an off-road truck. So should do pretty well in the mud. Maybe not as well as my whatever civilian thing. But it, it does have a bed as you can see on its back. So I don't need to have a trailer anymore. This bad boy can just go wherever I needed to go and do whatever that needs to be done. Shall see. I mean, it's got a custom engine that you can't even change, so that's a big amount of money that's just saved. Seems to do no. It seems to have no problem with this mod at least. That's good. It is, though, not as fast as uh, my other vehicle, but that's fine. It's expected. Don't expect it to be as fast as my other ones. It's the international brand. I do love all the international vehicles. International Lodestar, International freaking Pranstar, or what is this one called? I forget. The Lodestar was the uh, was the baby truck. Forget what this one is called. International Pay Star. There you go. The Lodestar and the Pay Star. Weird names, but good trucks. So probably fine. You can have your weird names. And it does use less fuel. They said it's very fuel efficient and that's definitely right. Using barely any fuel. The other truck uses freaking 10 liters. This is crazy. This thing is much more efficient. I can safely so. International man. Makes some very good vehicles. And it does have the big wheels, like we had in the other one, but they are a bit smaller, I think. And even without raised suspension, they still uh, can still get the biggest wheels. So, what do I know? We don't need the suspension. Anyway, maybe once we're done with this, it might remove the cement from this place because we, you know, we don't need it anymore. I can do some risky moves at this point, why not? Who says no? Who's gonna stop me? I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. There was no need to do this. Um. There's no no wrench attachments. All right. <laughs> well, that's what we get. Yo, my AWD wasn't even on the entire time. That is, I guess that's fine. So we would get a lot more performance if AWD was on. So we go from using about 6. Still using 6. It adds about a liter. 1.2 liters. 
uh, per minute of usage if you have AWD on. You can just keep it on if you really want to, but don't have to do that. Just leave it off mostly. Conserve fuel. Get going and don't worry about the water. We have a snorkel. Did spend money on a snorkel and a spare wheel. So should be fine. And again if needed we have AWD. We also have differential lock that we put it on though. If we needed, we have to activate it. And this thing will be great even for the lumber missions, right? Because it can actually have all the lumber attachments and all included. And it's an off-road truck, so it'll do well in the off-road areas, which is usually all the lumber areas. They are usually off-road. Should help there as well. So then, I mean, even rear-wheel drive. There's four wheels at the back. You can do it. I don't need to go all six wheels. It's not, it's not required. This is required reading. If you know what I mean. Yeah, it's very efficient. Very efficient engine. Decent speed, so it does make sense to use it. Okay, I mean that's just that's my fault. <laughs> Need to learn how to handle these vehicles better. All wheel drive to get out of the mud a little bit faster. More mud coming up, all wheel drive through it. Yeah, on the highway don't need for all wheel drive, but on mud usually I put it on. Just for that extra speed. That extra capacity to handle strife. Anyway, I'm taking the long way this time. No need to be greedy. Greed will get you killed, and in this game, being killed means getting toppled over. Basically, a death sentence. We treat the quarry with respect. This might be the last time we are coming into the quarry, right? Unless this per order or whatever requires me to deliver stuff in there. But probably not, right? It goes to the warehouse, if I remember correctly. Okay, that immediately destroys my durability. Come on, man. Can't be doing that. Oh, this just goes straight down, huh? That's pretty nice. Do enjoy that and put on AWD. Should, yep, just drive through the mud like it's nothing. Like it doesn't even exist. Bunch of cement. Take it to where it needs to go. Black rivers down storage. They need a lot of cement. Makes sense. But the entire region wanted cement and they all now have cement. Thanks to me, I delivered it for them everywhere. All the distribution set. What is going on with this vehicle? Why is it bouncing? It is not a vehicle that is supposed to be bouncing like this. It's not worth the risk. I'll take the long way around. Even though we don't really have. Uh, you know, a trailer that we need to worry about now, which is a big deal. Honestly, that's 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 a lot 
nicer, a lot easier of a job. If I don't have to carry around a big freaking trailer. Makes my life quite a bit easier, I would say. Alright, we get out of the quarry. Whatever. Next time I should just skip this one. Go forward and then get out the other way. That takes me straight out. I uh, should consider that. This entrance is no, no longer needed. No longer relevant. Step on the rocks. The rocks are very slippery. I'm going up. Yo, it's got it's got a nice turning radius too. Much nicer than some other uh, vehicles I've driven. I like it. Okay. Keep it going. Is it all digital in here? Not at all. It is all analog, baby. Oh, whatever. We're not here for the all digital features. It's not for comfort driving or whatever. This is the this is the workhorse. We need to get our work done. There's no need for any other fuss other than the required work created for us okay there you go climb straight out of there I think a real suspension will help a little bit maybe I think maybe might match a truck body hitting the ground in a couple of scenarios which obviously is not uh, not ideal Now we would want a quick on the easy way out. I can give it to you. We go back to the garage, we buy a maintenance trailer, maintain ourselves. And then uh, continue along. There's a fuel station as well down there. And then we can just turn into Black River, deliver this stuff. Then recover this vehicle, put a crane on it, and then take it over to uh, Island Lake and do that mission. Maybe after that, we see have seen how efficient this vehicle is, so we are more confident about uh, taking it around. At least I am. I don't know about you. Put a crane on it. Then quickly pick it up, put it on our bed, lock it in, and yeah, basically be done that problem the last like regional non-contract mission that I had will then be complete and all we have to do is the mission with the big companies the contracts the main reason that I had come here and then work on those Oh, someone wrote Husky on this as well. A lot of my vehicles have Husky written on them. Don AWD here, just to get some extra, you know, extra oomph on the mud. Really, this vehicle does not care about mud. Again, it's an off-road uh, truck. It's not supposed to care. The whole point is it doesn't care about uh, mud. Keep it moving up. Who is that garage? I'm looking for freaking stone eagles now. Like I really should not be. This is not the same game. 
you don't have a truck mounted gun although again that would be a fun game if there were enemies roaming around as well and you need to take your truck like this and then there's some monsters might spawn throw rocks at your truck or something might, might just attack you and then you instead you just freaking destroy them uh we get oh we can't can't afford it damn right forgot about that we speed up cannot afford that, that trailer anymore okay um fine Good refuel at the refueling station although we still okay, haven't even used half our fuel for that entire the entire thing that we just did that i believe is rather impressive it's praiseworthy You gotta be careful here, this is a downward facing slope. You will pick up a lot of speed. You know what, screw fuel. I have so much fuel, I'm fine. You can do it on one trip. Black River, it's been a while. I come here bearing cement. A brand new truck. Be prepared for the unexpected. Here you go. You can start rebuilding your homes, I guess. This premium cement that I just bought. Why did that sign freaking fly the hell off? I didn't even touch that damn sign. Whatever. AWD is on. That should be powered through. Whatever you want to throw at me. There you go. On the normal road again. Town is that way. I am well aware. These were my original stomping grounds. Spent a lot of time here. Kind of an expert, don't wanna brag. Although in the future it'll be a lot easier to do all these missions now. Considering we have like some of the best trucks now. For all the attachments because you know we've leveled up enough to get them all. We have a lot of experience as well now. We have played this game for a while, so we know what we're doing should be like we should really have no problem even like mud like that not even giving us a pa any pause we just drive straight through it with my new vehicles there you go we are in town already KWD off over to the warehouse this thing turns like a freaking dream bro you have been promoted to rank 17 they meant for the region it wasn't easy but everyone is happy now here is your reward yep everyone is happy nothing really here for me to do and now if I look at husky forwarding there's only two cargo from the ship in super order. We have to start this in Switzerland. Dam. Wooden planks, service spare parts. Can't get those. Consumables can also be cotton. You can also be cotton in Switzerland. Dam. Okay. For now, we recover. Go to the customization menu. Along with our flat bed, we will grab a loading crane. Take an intake air filter. Provides little to no increase in submersion. I don't want that. Yeah, give me that one. Spare wheel. Engageable this thing. Advanced medium. High power medium. 
A high power truck winch equipped with a reasonably more powerful motor this winch setup is capable of pulling heavier trucks along with their cargo out of almost every that's advanced this is longer as well so all chain all chain great for ice okay stock wheel fenders chrome cap sun visor i would love the angled beacons angled with beacons we don't have beacons right now Full horns, external. We already have external horns. We have the chrome parking lights instead of the factory lights. <laughs> Let's add a <coughs> raised beacon as well. It looks a lot bigger. We have the. Oh, we can get the uh, heavy duty pipe. Right there, the pipe welded. Cabin protector, no need for that. Okay, we'll grab a sheet shielded exhaust. Don't mind our rims. Alright, swagged out. Leave garage with our swagged out vehicle. The National Paystar 5070. It's the next generation graphic card as well. Okay, and... Why am I in Black River? Wait, am I in Black River? The garage. Did they dump me in black? I don't want to go to Black River. Yo, I'm in freaking Black River. Why do I have to have double exhausts? Kind of crazy. Why well, I'm, I'm in Black River, bro? I don't want to do this. Get me out of here. In any case, it's my it's my old it's the old the old area. A lot of stuff here. I turn on the beacon. It's an emergency. I should put off the beacon. I buy it, but I'm not, I never use it. I don't know why you can buy it, but whatever. Can buy it, I will buy it. Then they have these cabin protectors. So like, what the hell is the point of that? It it, it removes space from your uh, from your bed. That's not good. Anyway, I've delivered cement. I don't see much impact though. You would think now that they have cement, you know, they would something would happen. Whatever, maybe the super order will uh, help them. I'll just keep speeding along, I don't really mind. Vehicle goes plenty fast. Was this stuff still locked for me, by the way? I am level 17 now, it's a pretty high level. If anything was locked, it should be getting unlocked very soon. And if it isn't, they gotta reconsider how long they want it to take. Because, like, I have done everything in an entire map. You know, I, I should be able to do whatever the hell I want at this point. Anyway, this shit is easy, bro. Go across the first bridge I made. Can I become like the bridge man at this point? Like, you want a bridge made, you come to me. Alright. on going all right
keep driving with that. The gas station, I don't need, I don't need gas, honestly. This vehicle is very efficient, as it is advertised to be, so. It's fine. You can just, you can just keep driving. No, no worry about anything. Be driving, be completely fine. Park, park. Inverse bank. I never saw that. Is that new? This all was there. God knows. Maybe the, the cement was like, okay, now that they have cement, we can build our bank. I don't know. There's only one mission left in this area, right? The super order will have one, one part of it to be here. But that's about it. That's the last... Uh, Last thing, because you already did the wood one here. Each area has a wood delivery thing that needs to be done. And this area's wood delivery thing is done already. So, you know, I need to worry about that. Be on, please. You know, I cleared out the rock, freaking uh, roadblock. You think they would just build a road at this point? No, they just left the freaking dirt road, the destroyed road, really, because this this actual road here. There's no road there because it was destroyed by the flood. Not that they will fix it. been a long time since the flood everything everything is fine now right I hope so if not please tell me I'll fix it I'll get whatever needs to go wherever Still damn area the are 53 feet long. That's a, lot, that's a lot of feet, man. Gotta give him that, so that's a lot of feet. Honestly, why even, why even recover? What I'm saying. The fuel station right there. Don't need that, I can just, I can follow our gut. Got a fuel station here. Head over there, refuel, then head down to Island Lake, go to the trailer stop there, refuel and repair if needed, then head over to where that mission is and do it. Just that simple bro. Almost hit the freaking machine there. Not do that. Okay. Or we'll drive it. onto the side road okay first here Okay, well, low gear differential, but differential lock does, makes a world of difference.
Right, the differential lock. That'll that'll really help me out. Okay, so this this is definitely not the same level as my uh, my civilian whatever the hell that vehicle was. The super cool one. The other off-road truck, the previous one I bought. But there's the thing. That guy couldn't do anything. Couldn't have a, a trailer. Uh, it could have a trailer, but on its on its back it could have nothing attached. I mean, at that point, like it's it's not it's it's just a scout. And yeah, it can carry big trailers, and that's what I was supposed to do for a long time. With this, I can get actual work done. There, there's a value, a lot of value in that. Just, just even just a simple bed like this saves me having to deal with the problems of sourcing a trailer. And then traveling with it is also annoying. Trailers are not easy to deal with. This thing, I mean, it's it's a little weaker. So sure, be, that that being said, we are also carrying a crane with us. Oh God, don't forget that. Cranes are not light. They're not very heavy, but you know they're not light either. So. Take a bit more. Maybe with the uh, raised uh, suspension might help us. I doubt it though. No, it might though because I think our body is touching the floor and grinding against it, slowing us down on these extremely bumpy ass roads. Yeah, no like, no roof bar with lights kind of make the headlights more pleasant to use. Put like a damn bar with a bunch of giant like halogen lights or whatever the hell they are. I mean, it lights up the world insanely brightly, but you know that is a that is a blessing and a curse because then it blinds you. There's such a thing as being too bright. Point where it's not very useful anymore. Okay, low gear differential lock could allow us to just drive through the river like it doesn't even exist. I love when I can do that, you know, there's a river here, we just low gear differential lock AWD, it's like it doesn't even exist, we're just driving through just a normal patch of road, that's how you can think of it. Auto. Boom. All right. Does get more stuff. <laughs> that it's undeniable. Not as good in the mud as uh, the other one. My civilian. Again, I can only remember civilian. I don't know what the other part of the name is. It had a bigger name. Don't go into the sand, by the way. Sand is terrible. You think mud is bad? No, sand is like insanely horrible. Because you will sink into sand and you will not get any traction. It will just slip and slide. Stay on the mud. You know what's good for you. It's going. A little bit more travel left, but we are getting there. I just want to get this done, but then we have no reason to have the crane anymore. The last mission where we will need a crane for anything. 
Because after this, we have uh, just the, the. I mean, I don't know. One of the deliveries could require a crane, but I doubt it. Everything is usually at a specific spot, you know. Low gear, differential lock. Just get me across, man. You can use more fuel if you want. Power us out, but just just get it done. That's what I need right now. I don't need anything else. I just need you to get me out. You're gonna get stuck again, bro. This truck sucks. <laughs> eh, it doesn't suck that much. It sucked a little bit though. I'm too used to the civilian. The civilian was insanely good at dealing with this kind of thing. This one is... it's fine. It's not like very 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 good though. It's, it's simply fine. Lamber out. What? Bro, you kidding me? You're not just kidding me, you're killing me. I was, I was, I was here. That's where I had to go. I was there, bro. I was so insanely close. I hate it. Alright, well, guess what? I'm gonna take the middle route now. I think it's faster. Less mud, definitely. Especially once you cook across this. It's less muddy here. Or bumpy for sure, but... Should not be that bad, bro. So annoying. It, the worst part is the time investment, right? It's, it's a lot of time that's gone. It wasn't even that. It was just a slight turn, man. Just a little bump on the road. Caused my entire freaking vehicle to overturn. Hated it. It was very bad. Okay, buddy. Get out of here. Alright, that's suspension damage. That's that's not that's not right. Heavy hand heavy hand on the brake. It's going to be quite a trip now. All I want this episode. I mean, you probably can't do it at this now, right? We could have if I had gotten there, Island Lake. My just, my only wish now is to at least get to Island Lake and get to the spot where the mission is supposed to start. Do the mission, not don't do the mission. We'll see. Okay, but at least, at least get there. Okay, if we are at least there, then next time we can just start the mission. When kick arrive, you know, there'll be less waiting that will be required. It'll be less like insanely bad. It were. Gear differential lock. Okay, and this is pretty deep water, right? Ah, 
they're not actually. It's a little bad, it's not that bad. Very manageable, I would say. Auto. Then go. Going There you go, now they were on the rocks Life should be a little easier Like the, the, the simple thing they could do, honestly But I guess again that goes up against the thing But they have a mission for it, you know, have a, have a mission You set up like a little garage, you can teleport to Maybe if I am here, I want to get over there. Maybe not, maybe if I have no goods, you know. It's like, it's like recovering, but allow me to create it over there. Make it hard. Make me have to take up stuff from all over the place there to make it. But let me make it. Maybe like, okay, now that it is done, I can just, I can, you know, recover my, I can get over there faster, easily. Something happens on the way over, it, it, like, that's a lot of time wasted. It's like, that just happened this time. Becomes a little unfun at that point. I understand that's part of the game. You gotta be careful at all times. You know, any any slope could kill you. But like, come on, lose like 20, 30 minutes of progress in one shot. It's like really Is that that worth it? That is why in the next game they have the, the jack, right? So you can just. If your vehicle topples over, you can just put it up straight again without thinking too much about it. And then you probably need a crane to recover your cargo, though your cargo's gonna fly off. Camp this way, tunnel this way. Wanna go to the tunnel? Yo, this thing turns so well. Speaking of like advantages for this vehicle, it turns insanely well. May not be very powerful. Pretty good, but I mean, you can see what's happening right here. Not very, uh, not doing very well, are we? But it turns, it turns very nicely. And in little defense, we do have a crane on our back and, the, and a flatbed of cargo, but still a crane is crane is heavy enough. But this is kind of insanely slow. It's on auto, right? It is on auto. They're not on low gear. Is there like a rock stuck underneath my truck or something? What what, what the hell is going on? This is kind of insane how slow it is. And I get that the slope is kind of bad. Deep slope, no denying that. Even still, like, come on, it's not that bad. through the trees 
And I've just kept AWD on like permanently at this point. To put it off, we're gonna just go down even more. To be fair though, we have used not a lot of fuel. This entire trip which is very good. So the advantages here are very good at turning, great fuel efficiency. I hate you. I hate you. Look at this shit. Bro. Yeah, I, I give up today, right now. Okay, I'm not in the good not in a good mood. I'll I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Gotta do this all over again. You kidding me?